How's it going, everybody? So, <clears throat> today we're back working on the Pine Body Telecaster. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our sander and get all this uh, finish stripped off this neck here, the front, the back. We're, gonna mess with the, we're not going to mess with the fretboard there. And then um, we're going to start working on this body. We've got a lot of work to do with this body. The first thing we're going to do with this is put it through the planer, get it smooth on the top and smooth on the back. Once we get that done, we're going to start getting ready to drill in some holes for our neck to bolt on for, and then a router cavity, a router cutaway, so it has better access. And then from there, we'll see. I don't know. We got to pick up holes in it. Got to put an armrest in it, a belly rest. We'll see how far we get today. Um, the other thing is, I broke my tripod, so I just got my camera sitting up on my bandsaw right now. So I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to be able to actually show. So I ran this thing through the planer and got it nice and smooth on both sides. And I ran it through the planer just to get rid of that glue line, basically. And it was a little bit uneven. So I did that. But on the sides over here, this point and this point was too wide for my planer. So I had to take it over to the bandsaw and cut like a sixteenth of an inch off each side. So now i got to take this back over to the spindle sander and sand that down smooth. That's no big deal there. So that's done. So next, what we're going to do is start working on this neck pocket. We're going to drill four holes in this neck pocket for our screws to go in. We're going to come back through and then we're going to draw a line kind of like that and then route this down a little bit just to get a little better access down inside on this neck pocket itself. On my neck pocket here, I got my four holes marked out. Now, I rounded this thing because I wanted um, to be able to put an access cavity on the back of this. Not a cavity, but an access cutaway for the back of this neck. Because I rounded that, you can't really use a plate like this. It goes in there, but it's really close up here. And it needs to be centered like this which puts it right on the edge, which I didn't want to use a plate like this anyways, but you can't really use a plate like this if you're going with that. So what I'll be using are these round ferrules on the back side. So I lined, so I took these ferrules and got them set up to where I got plenty of room. If I decide to, I'll probably put it like a, a real small round over on this back side and on this front side. So I want to keep this ferrule in far enough to when I round it over, it's not going to have this thing hanging out over the edge like that. So, got four holes marked. Now we're going to take our drill. We're going to drill four eighth inch holes. And then we're going to flip this guitar over and start working on the back side. I got my four holes drilled in the back of the neck. And then I came back with a Forstner bit and drilled four, or countersunk four five eighths inch holes. Um, and these holes here are, the small holes are a quarter inch. And what I've been using is an Allen head button head bolt. And there'll be a washer that goes in here first. I just don't have any right now. So the bolt will go in. But it'll go in like that with the button head bolt. Now the only other thing that might happen is I might have to come back through and, and these four holes right here. Might have to sink them a little bit deeper to where the top of this head of the bolt is flush with the back of the body. And then on the cutaway, I was planning on doing a cutaway something like this to get access but with this style of body it really doesn't look right because I have to come from here come the whole way like up into there and to do it from here I don't know it just doesn't look right to me so we're not going to cut no access cavity at all it's going to be like this and I'm just going to have the regular neck pocket like that I guess so anyways that's that takes care of that part now we're gonna go and get on this neck. I plug my four holes, I'll come back to cut these off, and then I'm gonna pull up my sander. We're gonna start sanding that finish down. I got the peg head mostly sanded down smooth. I got a little bit of work to do here yet. I'm gonna flip it over. Same with the back. The back of the peg head's pretty good. Now on the neck itself, I still got some work to do on the neck. Um, you can still see some of that. I guess it's that amber kind of finish and then the heel itself 
it's pretty much done. So just the back of the neck I need to work on. And then on the sides a little bit up in here. And over in there. But what I'm going to do is take a break from sanding. And we're going to go ahead and get the four holes drilled for our bolts. And go ahead and get our brass inserts inserted into the neck. I put my neck into the neck pocket first. Got it lined up where I need to be. Then clamped the neck into the neck pocket so it can't move. So this thing can't move at all. Then I went, flipped my guitar upside down, and clamped it to the bench on a piece of MDF. The, the reason I'm using MDF is this pine is pretty soft, so anything at all will put a dent in it, and I'm trying to minimize the dents. That's the best work i got to do at the end to fix it. So I flipped it over, put it on a piece of MDF, clamped it down to the bench, and now I came back through with a quarter-inch drill bit and put the drill bit down inside the hole and just put a little indent in the back of the neck. And now I'm ready to take the clamp off, pull the neck off, Take it over to the drill press, drill my four holes in the back of the neck, and I can put my brass inserts into the neck. And now with the neck out of the neck pocket, you can see where my four indents are for my holes. You can see where the hold holes were that I fixed here. So now this thing, I'll just take it over to the drill press, put my quarter inch drill bit in, drill four holes, and I'm going to put my inserts in. When we come back, we should have inserts in it, get rid of the bolted onto the body. I got my four holes drilled. And these are the inserts I'm going to be putting in them. But I was going to put them in. But I'm going to wait till actually after I finish the guitar. I mean finish the neck. Um, it wouldn't make no sense to put these in. And then put a lacquer finish or something. And then they'd get all clogged up. So I'm just going to leave them out for now. And once I get the, the neck finished. Then I'll come back and put the brass inserts in.